Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to the Stingray Thunder Comedy Show. It begins. Every country's got its own way of speaking, but Australian slang is next level. This is what happens when Australian slang goes wrong. Look here, mate, we didn't come here to fuck spiders. Well, it's safe to say that we've all been there. Growing up, I always loved the show named Quantum Leap, and it really needs a reboot. This is what would happen if Quantum Leap got rebooted during a pandemic. Pretty flat for a white guy. Why is... MP3 player? Oh boy. Yo. Magical stuff, Unicorn, where have you been? I've been popping and locking outside this high school for like an hour now. We've no idea what's going on. Well, Sam, if you can't tell by what you're wearing, it's 1998, and you've leaped into a guy named Bevan, and there is a 98% probability that you're here to stop a school shooting. Sam, Sam, where are you going? The high school's that way. 1998, all the human rights, no COVID-19, no police shooting protesters with rubber bullets, all the human rights, I'm staying. But what about the school shooting, Sam? <laughs> kids are the worst magical stuff, Unicorn. Nobody likes kids. <laughs> Wow, I hope that reboot takes off. Buying stuff online can sometimes be like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Luckily, we have YouTube reviews. Here's one for all you lonely guys out there. Oh, hi there. Thanks to my horrible personality, today I'll be reviewing the pocket vagina. And asking the age old question, is a pocket vagina better than a real woman? Let's do this thing. The Stingray Bunda, good God. Drunk reviews! Well, it's safe to say the pocket vagina is a lot of fun. It has four different vibrating settings, and for some reason, the sound of a lady playing tennis. It was an action packed two minutes of joy, and I had all the fun of being intimate without all the yap yap from your intimate partner. It's also a lot less maintenance than a real woman. Like, I'm gonna watch this thing maybe once a year. Where being in a relationship is a full time job and it never comes home and takes its day out on me, or hits me when it's angry. It's also a lot cheaper than a real woman. A real woman could cost you anywhere from $200 to $500, and that could just be for the first day, whereas this cost me $19.99, and that's for life. But to answer your question, is a pocket vagina better than a real woman? The answer is yes, but if you attach a robot vacuum and a back massager to this thing, it'd be better than a real woman because you can't ask them to do that stuff anymore. My only critique is that it really hurts my asshole. Like it is bleeding a lot. These days there's a lot of ads online, TV, even in the middle of your favorite YouTube videos. They're always trying to plug something and it's just shameless and those people are sellouts. Well, anyway, here's an ad that I made. Oh, hey, babe. How hey. you doing? Hey. Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, I think we need to have a serious chat. Yeah, what about? Like, have you ever thought what would happen if you died? You know, like with me and the kids. What? You know, I think you need to get life insurance. Life insurance? Are you thinking about me dead? Look, you're not going to live forever, especially with that binge yoga, pole dancing, and veganism. Have you thought about me and the kids? Oh. Screw you, big penis jerk! Mm. 
You said you wouldn't yell in front of the kids! Mama, please stop yelling. Papa, is Mama going to beat us again? Dude, we don't have any kids! That's just a unicorn you've invented in your head to deal with your childhood trauma! Screw you! That's magical stuff, unicorn! He came out of your vagina! <laughs> <laughs> He came at me with a knife, so I hit him with the deodorant can. It was self-defense. They'll believe that. I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, what, what, what's going on? Huh? Oh my god! What happened? You had a fainting attack again. Oh my god, not again. Thanks for saving me. Jinx deodorant for men. Sprays on dry to keep you dry. Wow, is there anything that deodorant can't do? These days life hacks are all the rage. But I feel like some life hacks are just made for people who don't understand common sense. So anyway, here's one of mine. Has this ever happened to you? Oh man, me toast is burning. How am I ever gonna fix this? Not knowing how a toaster works can be a horrible thing. But if that's a big struggle in your life, this is the best way to fix that problem. All you gotta do is get a butter knife and jam it your toaster to dig out the burning toast while it's burning. And there you have it. Natural selection has sorted out the problem. Well, that's the kind of life hack that can help everybody. As you can tell probably by this point in the episode, I get a lot of pussy. But I want you to get as much pussy as me. So here's some tips. Oh, hi there. I'm Stingray. Stingray Thunder. That made no sense. Anyway, most of you watching this have probably noticed by this point that I am really, really cool. Like, my day is a tornado of magic powder, tits, big money, and blankets. It's safe to say that my bathroom trash can is a swimming pool of used Tampax. Luckily for you, I'm gonna teach you how to be as cool as me in my series of instructional videos so you too can be swimming in tits and blankets. First lesson, dancing. You see, in a woman's mind, being good at dancing and being good at sex goes hand in hand. And the more unprotected sex you have in life, the cooler you are. The only problem is becoming a good dancer takes years of hard work, exercise, and effort, which isn't cool. Luckily for you, I've learned a way to skip those steps and become a good dancer instantly. And this is how. You see, dancing isn't about rhythm, flow, style, or even being able to move well to a beat. It's all about serious confidence, and the best way to display that confidence is in a serious facial expression. You can achieve this expression by thinking about childhood trauma, or anything that will give you that thousand yard stare on the dance floor. Maybe your parents didn't love you, or you were a very attractive child. Or for the middle class people out there watching this, who have to make up problems because they don't really have any, fast food is bad for you. Or someone said something I don't like. I think I'm going to destroy their lives. And that's all there is to it. Look, I hope I helped you out and made you just that little bit cooler on the dance floor. Well, I truly hope that gets you some pussy. But now it's time for some life lessons, because life can't always be a joke. Yo, 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 what up, Internet? I'm Stingray Thunder, and I'm a stand-up comedian. But today what I have to talk about is no laughing matter. Today what I have to talk about is depression. You see a lot of people get sad and depressed, sometimes take their lives, which is a horrible thing. But a lot of the people need to learn how to cheer themselves up. 
Like, just think about it. There are kids starving in third world countries. <laughs> it always cheers me up. Kids are the worst. Kids really are the worst. I think the thing that we do but we never really talk about is watch pornography. And I'm pretty sure this is why. Have you ever been masturbating to a porno, but the acting's so bad that your erection goes away and you have to pull the cucumber out of your asshole? And all that goes through your head directly afterwards is, there is no way then, brother and sister. Wait, what? Yeah, me neither. Wow, brother and sister porn isn't even that bad. I'm pretty sure we've all been down darker porn holes. Anyway. This is what it would be like if I worked at the Kids Helpline. Animated. Oh hi, Kids Helpline. Matt speaking. The kids at school make fun of me because I'm fat. And when I get home, my dad just beats me. Like every night. I don't know what to do. Did you ever think maybe the kids are making fun of you because you're an annoying little snitch? And your weight's just an easy target? Also, your dad beating you. Well... He probably beats you because you ruin your mum's vagina. And now his love life's ruined. Also, the product that he got out of it was an annoying fat little snitch. That actually makes a lot of sense. But how do I fix this problem? Oh, well, that's the easy bit. Every time you see a drunk teenager getting in a car to drive home, just jump in with him. And if you just keep doing that, eventually it will all sort itself out. Uh, thank you so much for the help. I will definitely do that. I really needed that help. Thank you. No workers, you fat suck-up little snitch. Check you later. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Apart from being a comedian, I'm also a qualified tradesman. And in every shop that I've worked in, there's always one of these. It's dodgy tradey, he kinda works and smells like piss It's dodgy tradey, he's got his trade but can't fix shit It's dodgy tradey, he smells of booze and cigarettes Just reef it, g'day mate, haroo! Oh g'day, I'm staying out of the trade Breaky flask on the way to work Couple of double jacks, smoke one lunch <laughs> Yeah, I would say Couple extra bowls left over from a job. Don't worry about it, just turf them. Just finished the job right now. Can't argue with the results. Get off your phone, we're filming. Mate, I wasn't on the phone, I was just using the torch, alright? <laughs> Close enough, it's good enough, I say. Gonna have some froppies on the way home from work. Maybe go have a chat to the ex missus about why she put an AVI out on me. And then tomorrow, it all begins again. Haroo! So we've come to the end of the show. I hope you've had a good time, had some laughs, relaxed. And if you could like, share, follow and subscribe, that'd be sick titties. Also, if you could leave a comment, that'd make me chuffed. Love you all, everybody. I'm Stingray Funder. Bro!